viewers welcome to our channel this is a question from csir net 2019 december session uh, of mathematical sciences this is a question of abstract algebra from part c uh, that is it is a question of multiple uh, uh, right answer type uh, we are given that i is an ideal of z then which of the following uh, options are true now we are given that i is an ideal of z we know that z is a principal ideal domain that is every ideal of z is a principal ideal which means that if i is an ideal of z then i can be written as x a where x varies over the set of integers that is i is generated by a or it can also be written as z a now the first option we are given that if i is any ideal of z then i is an is a principal ideal now since z is a pid so i has to be a principal ideal and hence one is correct for the second option we are given that i is a prime ideal for this we consider i is equals to 6 z that is the set of points six x where x varies over the set of integers now six belongs to i but both two and three does not belong to i since 6 is equals to 2 and 3 if i would have been a prime ideal then this would have implied that either 2 or 3 belongs to i but we have seen that neither 2 nor 3 belongs to i so i can't be a prime ideal hence option 2 is false for the third option we are given if i is a prime ideal of z then i is a maximal ideal of z for this let us consider the i generated by 0 that is sorry z0 or and this contains none other than the singleton 0 now clearly i is a prime ideal of z but i is not a maximal ideal of z since there are numerous ideals of z between i and z that is
for example i generated by zero is strictly contained in the ideal generated by 2 is strictly contained in z 2z is an ideal in between 0 and z so i can't be a maximal ideal of z thus 3 is incorrect Now, for the fourth option, we are given that if i is a maximal ideal in z, then it is a prime ideal in z. If i is a maximal ideal then it is a prime ideal in z. Now, we see that we know a theorem that if R is a commutative ring with unity, let's say R be a commutative ring with unity, Then an ideal I of R is number one, a prime ideal if and only if the factor ring R factor I is an integral domain. And number two, I is a maximal ideal if and only if the factor ring R factor I is a field. Now, since Z is a commutative ring with unity, so for every maximal ideal, Z is a commutative ring with unity. And let I be a maximal ideal of Z. Thus, by this second point we have said factor i is a field now z factor i is a field this implies that z factor i is also an integral domain and so by point one I is a prime ideal. Thus, our option 4 is correct. In fact, option 4 is correct for every commutative ring with unity. If I is a maximal ideal of a commutative ring with unity, then I, I is also a prime ideal of R. So, our correct options are option 1, options 1 and 4 are correct. Thanks for watching.